you mentioned that you've been in abusive relationships, physically abusive. Does that translate to maybe how you feel? You, you harbor something? That's why you say you're going to a therapist, maybe you're, because some people label you a male basher. You know, you know people said that, you've admitted it. I ain't no male basher, man, in the comments, you're a male basher. Is it, do you think, do you think they, um, not, to, not to say they're right or wrong, but do you see the little bit of what you might be showing them to make people feel that way? Is, and it, could that come from the relationships you've had with men who treated you wrong? And you said you got into some physical altercation with some men, right? I have. Right. I, um, you know, it's, um, it's a cop out, right? This is why I don't stand on that when people say that, because it's easy to say that somebody is hurt and uh, it's easy to say that they're speaking out of hurt so then you don't have to take any accountability for what you may be doing. It's not me, it's that man that did it to her, right? I try to speak about the overall uh, feeling of how it feels to be a black woman in America. That is a feeling that I can translate to my girlfriends. It is not something that is uh, solar to Yamanika, right? It's not a singular feeling. Um, those singular experiences, I go hash those out with my therapist. I've been in physical relationships, uh, abusive relationships in terms of friendships. I didn't have a, a guy beat my ass. I've had a situation where why am I fighting a nigga that I am in love with like I, we niggas, right? Why is there no um, a gentleness with me? Why is there no love? Um, that is not something that I ascribe to um, a relationship with a black man. I was in a relationship with a white man who was yeah. very toxic. And over time, I realized- And y'all fought too, the white man? The reason why we fought was because he thought I was with the okie doke. I wasn't gonna let him say certain things about black people sure. and think I was on board with it. I don't hate black men. For you to have conversations with me about where, the, I know where we have issues, I'm black. I know that we have things that we could be fixing ourselves and we don't have to complain about, mm -hmm. but I'm not gonna sit in a space with a white man who has no idea what the fuck is going on and have him say things that are disparaging about black people. That's where we had our problem. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're not together. Mm -hmm. So that's, I, I don't uh, respect anybody who is in a, interracial relationship and allowing the person that they are with to shit on their own people. I ain't with that. Right. Um, but when I tell you I have been with white men, I have had sex with white men, oh. I have had sex with black men. Mm. I am not. Which one's better? I, <laughs> let's, let me just tell you this, and this is the honest God truth. White men don't give a fuck what's going on with you. They'll eat your pussy anywhere, anytime, any place. Oh. That's the facts. Okay, niggas want to see a chart with medical conditions. Damn right. And your yeah. grandmother's, Ooh, you know, wait. diabetes level. I got a sensitive uh, palate. Yeah, you could be hiking up Mount Everest, a white man to eat your pussy on the way what? up. What? They don't care. They should have a brochure to just say they eat pussy all the time. Because that's why a lot of black women don't want to be with white men because they think they're corny. But, you know, they got their tongue game. Damn, okay, um, okay. But there's not, it's not about who's better or who's, who's not, you know, I resent when people say I am whitewashed or mm -hmm. I want a white man. I spent a lot of my career talking about the issues of, around black people being very militant is why I'm not in a lot of spaces because they know I'm the wild card that's gonna open my mouth in a way that's gonna be reckless. I'm not the person that you're gonna bring on and I'm gonna be shucking and jiving for you or right. making it safe. And I yeah. resent the fact that because I have, you know, friends and I work with uh, friends who are white celebrities that I'm somehow kowtowing to them right. and that I haven't earned their, their respect right. and for them to come in and say, hey, I want to work with you because they know I'm fucking funny. Right, right. there you go. No. It's funny you say that. I'm the, I'm the same way when it comes to sometimes the black people Black people, like I grew up around black people, you know, after 11 years old, I moved to Washington, D.C. in the, in the right, city yeah, and shit, yeah. so I've been around blacks, I mean, all that kind of stuff. But what I will do not, I will not tap dance for black people. If they fuck it up, I'm gonna tell them. Now, being that I'm light-skinned, they don't, I don't want you light-skinned this way. If I say something pro-black, you down with it. If I say something mm -hmm. about black people, you gotta stop this shit. And the other black people agree with me, but there's a certain sector, niggas, well, you know, want to be, yeah, want to, yeah. want to say something. You ain't down. You know, it's not, it's not that. You know, it's, it's not that at all. It's just I'm not going to tap dance. They want, they want yeah. everything for us, for me, for all of us to tap dance on that reckless shit they do sometimes. When they doing fucked up shit, I'm going to call you out of it. And I'm like you, I'm that yeah. wild card. Yeah. Even on the comedy hype show, I'm that. I'm, I'm going to say it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and some people they can't take it. Like, but I'm, it's in your face. You know, people hit me up and say, keep saying that shit, Pete. Black people. Oh, people keep say it. But, say it, it, keep saying it. But you know what? I, it's two things I want to say here. 
when we never talk what you just brought up mm-hmm. we never talk about the tap dancing we do for our people mm-hmm. right tap mm-hmm. dance is always you tap dancing for mass a white mm-hmm. man this mm-hmm. this is it godfrey who um i love right shout out, i shout out. Done love the show twice. godfrey godfrey and I always have these like really deep conversations um and uh <laughs> i just uh, he's he's one of my favorite comedians and what i'll say about him real quick is I remember when Godfrey didn't fuck with me, right? Mm-hmm. Godfrey was like, I ain't fuck, you know? And it, was, it wasn't so much evident, but I just was never in a space with him. And I remember the day he came to me and said, I've been watching your growth and I've been watching you talk and what you've been doing and I'm proud of you. That is something that is like, goes on my bucket list. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I'm glad, I'm, it, it means a lot to me mm-hmm. that he said mm-hmm. that. Um, him and I go back and forth a lot about the N word, which I say a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, we go back and forth about women in comedy and how black women in comedy are always talking about their vagina and always talking about sex and this and that. The, the thing is, black women really have to tap dance when you talk about a urban room, right? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. in that mm-hmm. room, mm-hmm. there is no, what I get is I, if I'm in a mainstream room, I get the luxury to talk about abstract things, Everything. right? That Everything. may, that people have to wait to get to the point. When you go to a hood room, it, niggas wanna laugh right away. Come like on. if you ain't out the gate, stepping to them hard, aggressive, and right. da 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 da, mm-hmm. da they like, oh, that's corny, that's da 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 da, you know, they don't want to hear that shit, right. nobody, dip, nigga. That's why it took Chappelle so long. Right, 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 right. So you gotta, you gotta buck with that. My my time on the urban scene, because I remember somebody saying, oh, you can't do the urban scene. I said, no, I can do the urban scene. What I realized when we go to the urban scene, I'm giving my same material, but I gotta get these niggas like, bah, 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 bah. I don't wanna move like that. I wanna get on stage. I wanna present, Mm -hmm. I wanna take my time. I wanna give you concepts that you may have never heard of. And I wanna give you something that, just cause you don't know what the fuck it is, let me explain it to you, right? Right? And I don't make it so you only laugh if I talk about my pussy or some nigga Mm -hmm. I'm fucking. Mm -hmm. The other thing is the N word. People always like, oh, all she do is call people, black men, niggas, this and that. Me and, uh, I did a roast battle, right? I would do roast Uh, battles, so I'm one of the, uh, queens of roasting. Mm-hmm, I roast mm-hmm. nigga down to the ground. Oh, I see it. I was doing white roasting. Uh, shout out to my uh, friend Jeff Ross. Mm-hmm. Um, he, here's the thing: white roasting, black roasting, different, right? Mm-hmm. Black roasting is boundaries. Mm-hmm. You better not say nothing about somebody's grandmother that's on life support. Mm-hmm. They kill you. Mm-hmm. Sure. There's certain things you don't say about people, family, and bullshit like that that goes over the board. When you go to white roasting, yeah, it's all open. they talk about doing shit to your grandmother you didn't even know was possible and you gotta sit there. I remember my grandmother was on her deathbed and to, before I went to go see her, I decided to host a, one of the roast, a judge one of the roast battles. And I remember the, my guys there, they were saying, you know, we just want to send some love to Yam. You know, she's going through it tonight. Her grandmother's not doing very well. She's gonna see her tomorrow. Let's just have a good time tonight. And then one of the comics, decided he was going to roast my grandmother who was on her deathbed. And I remember it was some white nigga. And I had to jump up and I and my boys had to hold me down because I was going to fuck that nigga up. You understand? Like the shit gets real. It is, it is, we are in spaces where it can be uncomfortable. You don't know when a nigga's going to say something. You don't, you're vulnerable to the space. If you don't have trust, you don't have nothing. So when people, when my own people fucking judge me all the time, always clocking what comes out of my mouth, me and Jamar, we did that white roast. We did Comedy Central's roast battle. We roasted each other. I said I wanted to roast a brother. I didn't want to roast a white bitch because I don't. I know as soon as I go up with a white woman, all of a sudden they're gonna take her side because anything I say to her is gonna be attacked. Mm-hmm. I got tired of roasting them white niggas because all they're gonna do is say I grew up was on welfare and that's not the case. They right. don't know anything about us. Right, right, I just wanted to fun. roast one of my people. We right. went out. I think we did an amazing job. We called each other niggas. We said all kinds of stuff. Black Twitter came for us in a crazy way. All of these niggas sandboying, chucking and jiving for Comedy Central. Mm-hmm. They won't tell you about the four other fucking roasts I did where I called these white boys niggas. Right, they don't, they That's don't in my off. vernacular. I Un- you, research I what I do. There's no I reason that. for me to fucking just, I ain't no coon like that to be like, oh, I'm gonna call black people niggas and I ain't calling white people niggas. Whatever problem you got, you, that's with you. Turn me up a little bit, turn me up a little bit. If you like that clip, hit the subscribe button or the notification bell. In fact, why don't you hit both of them?